Can you imagine being in a country where that country, the leadership allegedly look after their own people? Can you imagine being in a country where you are privileged enough that people just won't criticize you because they're too afraid to? Anyway, let's talk about Israel. So President Netanyahu, Yahoo, or whatever he wishes to call himself, has decided that he's considered these people that are coming into the country such a problem that he's decided to put a fence up. The same fence that everybody would have criticized Trump for back in the day because he was being racist against Mexicans, right? And yet the Mexicans who actually made it into the country through the legal means, which could have taken up to 10 years and they worked hard for it, backed him fully. But back to the story. So no, Netanyahu has decided that he doesn't like these people coming into the country and not only is he building a fence, but he's going to round up all the ones that have made it in and fuck them off. Some of you would consider that racist, but you can't because you're not allowed to criticise. Now, if it was us doing it, obviously we'd be racist. But here's the thing. Either Netanyahu is being racist because he doesn't like them because they're of a different, maybe, skin tone or uh, uh, basically they're Muslim, or maybe, oh, just bear with here, just maybe he's considered an army, an invading army of fighting age Muslims into a Jewish country, somewhat of a significant threat. And maybe he is, in this case, perhaps just doing the best by his country. But I'm going to leave you to decide this because I think it could be a mixture of many things here. But here's the thing. Either he accepts that he is a, uh, a racist because he doesn't like them because of their creed, colour and religion, or maybe he comes out on the world stage and says, I see these people as a threat to my country because they are a fighting age invading army of Muslim men, which will pose a considerable and significant threat to our people. Now, if he does this, game on. Because if he does do this, and he can't be criticised, because obviously if you do that, you're an anti-Semite, then maybe we can follow by his glorious lead and do the same ourselves. Because, hey, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, right? Do you see where I'm going with this one here? Obviously, um, I know that there are certain people in this world, certain leaders of this world, that decide that what they want to do is destroy Europe. Uh, and they're going to destroy it economically speaking, which they're doing quite well at, at the moment, but not just that, they want to destroy the actual culture of each country and uh, change the, the, the race of that country or significantly dis disrupt and change the demographics of that country, which is happening. I mean, you've only got to look at Ireland at the moment. That's gone and increased by a quarter and the quarter uh, that has increased is, uh, well, not exactly Irish looking, should we say. But back to the story here. If, obviously, Yeehaw decides what he's going to do and goes ahead and bins these people off and he can't be criticised, then we can do the same because we're just following him. Do you see how this could work? So this is a story that we really need to follow because, obviously, um, there are a certain group of people which you can't really criticise. And if you do, you get called anti-Semitic. But all you've got to do is state facts. And if you quote their facts, OK, and you use their data and their thinking, well, you're on a winner, aren't you? And then what we can do also is then we can quote them, their facts, their figures, their reasoning, their thinking to the left hearts, and you will leave these left hearts and the liberals and the do-gooders in quite a quandary because whereas they want to call you a racist, obviously, because when you run out of argument, the first thing you've got to do is just ad hominem all the way, right, and throw slander. I mean, that's the way forward, isn't it? If you look like you're losing, throw slander. That'll win the argument, except everybody else who's watching the argument goes, that person's spurging out, or that person's losing their shit, or whatever it is. So, but when you start quoting to people who cannot say a word against, um, you know, Jewish people or whatever, cannot criticize Jewish people, even if they say, for instance, whatever the Jewish person's doing wrong, they just, they can't criticize because the last thing they want to be called is anti-Semitic. Whereas I truly believe, deal with the facts and your feelings don't really fucking matter. Um, however, um, when we quote this to the people and they go, but you're different, you can simply say, why? Because you're not Jewish. And at which point you've got them. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. If Israel can do it, we can do it. Otherwise, we have to question why Israel can do it and we can't. 
Now, keep the comments sensible, people. We don't want to lose this channel. We're talking facts here. We're not talking about any particular prejudice that some people watching this may have, all right? We'll deal with the facts, and the facts can speak for themselves, can't they? So let's just go with that. But this will be an interesting one to watch. Anyway, hope you're all having a good day, and I'll speak to you in a bit.